Hi children, welcome back to our mathematics class. In the previous video, we had completed the exercise questions on page number 86. Today, we are going to study about two answers. Okay. We know that the general form of a second degree equation is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 here the highest power of the variable is 2 so this equation has two solutions okay here the highest power of the variable is 2 so this equation has two solutions a positive solution and a negative solution in some situations both the solutions may be positive okay for example x minus 1 the whole square equal to 100 so x minus 1 equal to root of 100 so x minus 1 equal to plus or minus 10 the value of root 100 is equal to plus or minus 10 root has two values a positive value and a negative value so we can take both the values x minus 1 equal to 10 and x minus 1 equal to minus 10 if x minus 1 equal to 10 then x equal to 10 plus 1 equal to 11 If x minus one equal to minus ten, then x equal to minus ten plus one equal to minus nine. Here we got two solutions, eleven and minus nine. Okay. Based on this, we have to do the exercise questions on page number ninety-one. Question number one: The product of a number and two more than that is one sixty-eight. what are the numbers here let the numbers be x and x plus 2 okay here the numbers be x and x plus 2 we have to take their product that means x into x plus 2 is equal to 168 okay next open the bracket using x so we get x square plus 2x equal to 168 Next, we have to complete the equation. For that, we have to add the square of half of coefficient of x on both sides. So, x square plus 2x plus 1 square equal to 168 plus 1. So, it is in the form x plus 1 the whole square. So, x plus 1 the whole square equal to 169. So, x plus 1 equal to root of 169. Here, the value of root of 169 as equal to plus or minus 13 okay plus or minus 13 so first we have to take x plus 1 equal to 13 so x is equal to 13 minus 1 equal to 12 next we have to take x plus 1 equal to minus 13 so x is equal to minus 13 Minus one, which is equal to minus fourteen. Here we got two values for x, twelve and minus fourteen. So we can write the numbers are twelve and fourteen. Okay, the numbers are twelve and fourteen. You can choose minus fourteen as the value of x. Then you will get the numbers as minus fourteen and Minus twelve. The product of two negative numbers become positive, and it is equal to one sixty-eight. Okay. Next question number two. Find two numbers with the sum four and product two. Let us assume that the first number is equal to x. Then first number plus second number. That means the sum of two numbers is equal to four. Here, the first number is equal to x. 
then we can write x plus second number is equal to 4. From this we get second number is equal to 4 minus x. Next, given that the product of these two numbers is equal to 2. So we can write x into 4 minus x is equal to 2. Next, open the bracket using x. We get 4x minus x square equal to 2. Next, we have to bring the terms in left side into right side for changing the sign of x square as positive. Okay, so the equation becomes minus 2 is equal to x square minus 4x. Next, we have to complete the equation by adding the square of half of the coefficient of x on both sides. So, it becomes x square minus 4x plus 2 square equal to minus 2 plus 2 square. So, it is in the form x minus 2 the whole square is equal to minus 2 plus 4. Then, x minus 2 the whole square equal to 2. Therefore, x minus 2 is equal to root 2. From this we get x minus 2 is equal to plus or minus root 2. So, x is equal to 2 plus or minus root 2. If x is equal to 2 plus root 2, then 4 minus x is equal to 4 minus of 2 plus root 2. So, it is equal to 4 minus 2 minus root 2 and it is equal to 2 minus root 2. 2 minus root 2. Next, if x is equal to 2 minus root 2, then 4 minus x is equal to 4 minus of 2 minus root 2. It is equal to 4 minus 2 minus of minus root 2 is plus root 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. So, 2 plus root 2. If x is equal to 2 minus root 2, then 4 minus x is equal to 2 plus root 2. If x is equal to 2 plus root 2, then 4 minus x is equal to 2 minus root 2. Hope you all understood this video very well. That's all for today children. Thank you.